good yet because I'm not even tired yet. Hmm. Aha! I know what we can do. We can go to Tia and read a bedtime story. Come on in here. Hey Tia. Hello Kira. Hello guys. Are you here for a story? Yeah. It is story time in fact. <laughs> Today we will be reading is Bedtime Stories for Little Children, yeah. written by Osborne. So let's start. The Mouse's Wedding Once upon a time, a family of mice lived happily beside a stream. There was Father Mouse, Mother Mouse, and Little Miss Mouse. In no time at all, Little Miss Mouse was all grown up. She needs a husband, thought Father Mouse one day. Family trip, he announced. The very next morning, the bags are packed. We're off on a journey to find your husband. You must have the best, most powerful husband in the whole world, said Father Mouse as they set off. Really? asked Mrs. Mouse. And who might that be? Father Mouse looked a little less sure. It's, it's, I know, it's the sun, he said. He makes our days bright and warm. He helps flowers to boon, and he ripens the harvest fields. We'll ask him. Father Mouse led the family up a snow-capped mountain. All day long they climbed, until at last they reached the top. The sun slipped slowly down in the sky until until he was close enough to hear them. Oh, Mr. Sun, called Father Mouse, we wanted to ask you the most powerful person in the world. Powerful? Me? said the sun. When that cloud covers my face, he blocks all my light and warmth. I'm not so powerful then. In that case, said Father Mouse, we will talk to the cloud. They clambered a little way down the mountain and slept until morning. When they woke, they saw the cloud resting on the mountain top. Father Mouse led the family back to the top. Mr. Cloud, he said politely, we have been told that you are the most powerful person in the world. Powerful? Me? said the cloud. When the wind blows, he bounces me all over the sky. I'm not so powerful then. In that case, said Father Mouth, we will talk to the wind. Let's have breakfast first, said Mother Mouse. Soon the wind came along and puffed the cloud away. Mr. Wind! Mr. Wind! called Father Mouse. We hear you are the most powerful person in the world. Powerful? Me! sighed the wind. That wall can stop me in my tracks. I'm not so powerful then. In that case, began Father Mouse. Daddy, are we really going to talk to the wall? asked Miss Mouse. Of course, said Father Mouse. Mr. Wall, it is, tr is it true that you're the most powerful being in the world? I wish I was, <laughs> said the wall sadly. I tell you, I'm not even as powerful as a mouse. I may look strong, said the wolf, but I can feel a little mouse 
nibbling at my bricks. At any moment, I could come crashing down. Oh dear, said Father Mouse. In that case, we will talk to the mouse. Yes, please, said Miss Mouse. Making their way along the wall, they found a young mouse. He's handsome, thought Miss Mouse. Mr. Mouse, said Father Mouse. We hear you're the most powerful person in the world. I wouldn't say that, the mouse began. But you're more powerful than the wall, said Miss Mouse quickly. And the wall is more powerful than the wind, added Mother Mouse. And the wind is more powerful than the cloud, continued Father Mouse. And the cloud is more powerful than the sun, finished Miss Mouse triumphantly. Wow! said the young mouse. I think you'd be the perfect husband for my daughter, said Father Mouse. And it seems she likes you. Will you marry her? I'd be delighted, said the young mouse. The two young mice were married the very next day and all their friends came to the wedding. The sun and the, and the cloud and the wind not all at once. And that is the end. Make sure you give a thumbs up and, and smash that subscribe button. Bye. 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 B